Okay, here we are at Chantilly Farm and Campground and Events Venue. And we've had a number of ham radio people camping out here because it's also the home of N4 USA, <clears throat> Foundation for Amateur International Radio Service. Here's one of our campers, been here a number of times, Larry, W4MBC. And he's been using an antenna he calls the Camellia, which I haven't seen before, but uh, Larry, tell me a little bit about the operation of the Camellia here. Yeah, well good afternoon. I'm Larry W4, Mike Bravo, Charlie. And I have a Chameleon antenna system set up right now. It's mounted on a tripod, which I purchased from MFJ. And the beauty of this antenna is it can be configured in so many different ways. Right now I have it like a dipole, dipole configuration with on the other end supporting the, uh, the end, one end of the dipole and one end up here on the matching transformer. And off of that, I have four radio wires, and it gives me excellent transmitting and receiving capabilities. And the beauty of this is you can configure it in so many different ways. I also have the vertical. I have the spike mount, which can be mounted directly in the ground with one ground radio going off from it. And you can set, set it up to where it would be in an invis configuration, near vertical incident sky wave. And you can just do many different things, especially if your neighborhood has restrictions on antennas. And the whole objective of this is to be sort of uh, an inconspicuous amateur radio operator so none of your neighbors would complain about antennas. And uh, it's an excellent build. I use a, uh, an automatic antenna tuner and it tunes all frequencies perfectly and it will handle up to 500 watts. Do so you use your amplifier here with it once in a while? I, I do. I have a, uh, a little MFJ solid state amplifier and it, it just kicks enough power on it to where it makes other stations come in and you're able to communicate very easy. I made numerous communications here on this system all the way out into New Mexico, California, South Carolina, Georgia, and um, with great signal reports. So, highly recommend it. It comes with winders that when you get ready to put it up, you can wind all of the wires and cables up on the winders and put it away neatly where it'll be ready for use the next time. So, um, well, Larry, that's great. <clears throat> you know, last weekend, well, weekend of field day, we had uh, three resident uh, camping amateur radio people here, yourself and a couple of others. They had antennas up, and we had a couple of them down in our one of our barns operating. And Chantilly uh, events venue and campground is <clears throat> ham radio friendly. You see uh, a beam down there at, the, at our uh, camp office check-in area. We use that, and there's some other antennas down there as well. So we do quite a bit of ham radio. We have a lot of ham radio people visit us here. We're up in the mountains, Blue Ridge Mountains, about 2,500 feet. It's a wonderful location to operate from, and <clears throat> field day we had a great operation on 40 meters. It worked just terrific. Well, thank you, Larry. We'll see how this turns out, and appreciate you telling us about it, and we will probably get some more videos as well. Wonderful. Highly recommend the Chameleon Antenna Systems. Uh, thank you.